Welcome back from spring break. It's time to look at uh, exponent rules, section one of chapter 11. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody is uh, ready to give it their all for the last five weeks of school. Can't believe that's all that's left. But as you're looking at the exponent rules, uh, I have them listed on the screen and there's another screen as well. Those are located on page 695, 696 of your text. Please make sure that uh, you understand and can apply these rules because that's how you uh, are able to work through section one as you're looking at uh, the rules. Uh, just remember the basics, be anything to the one is that number. So the first one, if n equals one, b to the n equals b. Uh, if n is greater than one, then uh, you multiply b times b, ever how many factors of n you have. If n equals zero, then b to the n equals one. And if b is not equal to zero, uh, then a negative exponent means that uh, the number to raise to the power would be in the denominator to make that positive. That's very important on some of your uh, work that you do to make sure that you have no negative exponents. On the second page, uh, you have your uh, powers, power of product, power of a quotient, and those are listed. Um, if you have a product uh, with exponents, then the ba notice that the bases are the same at the top, a to the m, a to the n, then you add the exponents. Uh, power of a power, which is a to the m to the n, then you multiply the exponents. Quotient, notice the bases are different on the quotient. You have an a over b, two different bases raised to the m, so both um, bases, both numbers, variables, if you will, get the uh, exponent. The next one is power of a product, and you have a product inside parentheses, raised to a power, so both of those numbers, uh, variables, if you will, get the exponent. That is not true if you have addition or subtraction inside of the parentheses, so make sure you know that difference. The last one is, is a quotient rule. Notice the bases are the same on this quotient. So if the bases are the same, they're both raised to an exponent, then you subtract the exponents uh, as long as the base is not equal to zero. So let's go ahead and look at some problems dealing with exponents. This would fall under the power of a product rule. We have a product inside the parentheses. So that means the exponents are multiplied together. <clears throat> so rewriting this, I would have s to the two times five and t to the three times five, so simplifying that, s to the tenth, t to the fifteenth. So that's power of the product rule. The next one is a quotient rule, and in order to do this one, we need to evaluate the parentheses in the denominator first, and then we can see if uh, we need to do anything with exponents at that point. So rewriting this. Of x to the third y in the bottom we have a power to a power so that means that we multiply exponents so that changes to x to the twelfth and then the power of a quotient rule uh, when the bases are the same means that you subtract exponents numerator minus denominator so what we have is uh, x to the um, x to the 3 minus 12y. Notice I, when I subtracted, I moved it up to the uh, numerator. So that translates into x minus 9y, but remember we cannot leave any exponents as negatives. So what this means, x to the minus 9, means it goes in the denominator and changes to a positive number. So I have y over x to the ninth as my final answer. So make sure you uh, remember how to do this important step. You cannot leave any negative exponents in your answers. Well, the next one is 125 to the one-third. Uh, exponent rules for fractions. Uh, the denominator means whatever the root of that number is. So rewritten uh, it would look like this. The third root of 125. So what we're looking for are three numbers that multiply together um, to give us 125. And so the third root, or cube root of 125 is in fact five. Uh, some of these uh, that actually deal with numbers, uh, just go ahead and put them in your calculator, uh, especially when you have like four over three or three over four. Um, you want to just use your calculator to solve the answer. 
And the last one, this is the um, fractional exponent rule. Uh, notice how it's rewritten. The denominator is the root. And especially if you have a number greater than one in the numerator, then that number uh, would be raised to that power. So b to the 3 fourth is the fourth root of b cubed. Uh, 2 to the b seventh, and notice how it's written differently in the second one. So that would be the second root of b to the seventh, so it's written as b to the seven over two. So the problem we look at is 16 to the one fifth, rewritten as the fifth root of 16. So we need five numbers that multiply together to give us uh, the number 16. Uh, not something you want to calculate by hand so we go to our calculator and we punch that in and punching that in fifth root go to the math part of your calculator fifth root of 16 uh, 1.74 so I did have to use the calculator. To find the x root or the cube root, use the math button and uh, it will take you where you need to go. So that's the uh, basics on exponents. Make sure you uh, look over this and are well prepared and uh, we'll see you next time.